Hey guys, it's Scott with Scotty B Cards, and in this video, I want to look at the dilution of rookie one of ones. Rookie one of ones are some of the most sought after cards in the sports card hobby. Every player has rookie one of ones nowadays. Back in the olden days, rookie one of ones weren't really a thing. They were introduced in the late 90s, and now one of ones are a staple of our modern hobby. In the past, a player would have maybe one to 10 rookie one of ones. We're gonna look at some players historically at a few and then compare them to modern players today. I'm gonna to compare primarily Adley Rutschman in 2023 to see how many rookie one of ones he had in that particular year to players in the early 2010s for example. One thing I'll note is you might say, why didn't you do a player in 2024? And why did you do Adley Rutschman? And the main reason is just because Adley Rutschman was in top series one all the way throughout the entire year of product releases. So I felt like he was the best candidate from last year. I did the same exact exercise with a different rookie in 2022, and that was Wander Franco. And obviously we're not going to compare too much of him, but we are going to talk about his cards a little bit, but it's more of the idea of has it gotten worse in the last few years? And I just want to give you an idea of where rookie one of ones are now. And the reason I thought of this again is because I saw this Bobby Witt Jr. PSA 9 Bowman Chrome X Gold X Fractor 1 of 1. Gorgeous card. Such a good looking card. The Gold X Fractor. and went for $1,700 and that kind of surprised me. I almost bid on it, but I already had bought a card recently, so I did not buy it. Either way, this card seemed like a pretty low price and this was basically the peak of Bobby Witt Jr. on October 7th heading into the postseason. And for whatever reason, it went for only $1,700. And so I wanted to look at this again and see, are we in a really crazy spot with cards once again in 2023 and 2024? So let's look at Mike Trout. Mike Trout is an example of a player in 2011 who didn't have very many rookie one of ones. One thing I'll note with Mike Trout that is unique is because he was like the 60th anniversary. One of those anniversaries, he had double the rookie one of ones. Like it was a super fracture and a gold canary for Bowman Chrome, a super fracture and a gold canary for Finest. This was a red and a super fracture, something along those lines. Then we had Bowman Chrome Draft, Bowman Chrome Draft one of one, and then he had a one of one embedded diamond, a platinum one of one, and a canary diamond in update as well. And only two one of one Ricky autographs. So basically these are all the one of ones of Trout, all very rare, all very sought after. A few years later with Mookie Betts, here's another example. He did debut later. So did Trout. And I understand that, but the players who debuted earlier, like a Machado, I did not look up their cards in this particular video, but it wouldn't have been that much different to be fully transparent. But here we have five rookie base one of ones, the platinum one of one and the rookie debut platinum one of one. We've never seen the actual one of one of the base card, but so I just put two platinum here. Then we have the one of one super fractor from Sterling, the Japan atomic Atomic Refractor from Sterling 1 of 1, and there's a red 1 of 1 from Sterling as well. Then we have the Stadium Club 1 of 1 autograph, the Sterling Insert 1 of 1 autograph, then the same three parallels on the Sterling autograph. Then we have Five Star and Supreme had 1 of 1 autographs as well. And I'm only doing cards that have the rookie logo on them, which these ones did. How does that compare to a more modern player? Here was Wander Franco from last year. This is how many rookie 1 of 1s Wander Franco had, and all of these represent a base 1 of 1 card, right? It's his Platinum 1 of 1. All of these represent a one of one autograph card and all of these represent dual autograph cards and then these all represent insert one of one rookie cards again they have to have the rookie logo for me to include them here except for maybe the dual autographs because they sometimes don't put that on even though it is a rookie card and i didn't even include all of them because there also were memorabilia one of ones and i just want to give you a heads up there were less of them compared to Adley rutchman who i'll show you in just one second for 2023 one thing i'll know originally there were 211 wander franco one of one rookie cards which again Again, is a huge increase from where we were in 2014, which was only 10 years ago. It's like 10 times, 20 times higher, I believe. Either way, I actually did the math wrong because this came out prior to all the product releases in 2023, because they kind of wrapped around to the new year. He actually had 305 total one of ones if you include Transcendent. If without Transcendent, there were 229. And I'll show why that is in just a moment. Without these cards, so basically the 211, this is the breakdown, 67 base one of ones, 43 insert one of ones, 20 relic one of ones, 80 autograph or autograph relic one of ones, six dual or triple one of ones, 17 one of ones in top series one alone, 12 one of ones in the stadium club alone, 15 one of ones in triple threads alone, which doesn't even exist this last year. So Rutschman doesn't even have those and he still has more one of ones than Wander Franco, 12 one of ones in inception and then 94 additional one of ones in freaking transcendent. Transcendent went insane. Look at this. Look how many rookie one of one autographs that Wander Franco has. One for every single year that tops is existed essentially. This has happened all the time, but it just dilutes it so much. So there's actually 229 without Transcendent, but with Transcendent, there's 305. And just to highlight, every time you see his name highlighted is a different 
one of one rookie card in that particular set. Transcendence like a $20,000 box product. So they have to do something to make it valuable. So let's just print a million one of ones and call them one of ones because they're slightly different. And that's kind of an issue that we're seeing with a lot of modern cards. But how does that compare to Adley Rutschman? Here's a few examples. Here's a Super Fractor. Here is a tier one button one of one. And then just a base diamond icons one of one. Before I show you the total number, I want to just say that these sets from 2022 to 2023 were not made. We have triple threads, Tops Gallery, Gypsy Queen, Tops Mini, Opening Day, Ben Baller. This is Tops Chrome Ben Baller, by the way. Archive Snapshots, Alan and Ginter Chrome, and Tops Chrome Sonic. Sets that were added were Garbage Pail Kids, Bob Ross, Platinum Anniversary, and Tops Black and White. None of which had very many one of ones, surprisingly, only like one or two for each of those. With that being said, though, there are more Adley Rutschman one of one rookie cards, even if you include Transcendent from 2022 with Wander Franco. Here are all the Adley Rutschman one of ones. These are base right here. These are inserts. These are the memorabilia. These are the dual and triple autographs. He had a ton of one of ones with Gunnar Henderson, which makes sense. They were both great rookies, as well as Cal Ripken Jr. If you count those as a one of one rookie, that's up to you. I did in this video because it was an Adley Rutschman card from this year, but you know, that's tougher. And then we have autographs right here, represented by this grouping. So to break this down, here's an example. There were 307 one of ones that I counted. I counted low on the sets and I did not do like as in depth of research of were there more new sets. I believe I have all of them, but I may have missed one to five sets that could have added this total even higher. I did not include Tops Now or a single Tops card from like Tops.com, like an individual card. I think Tops Black and White may be a Tops.com exclusive, but I mean more in reference to like a single card you can buy from Tops.com. So not even Tops Now is included, which he has at least 10 from Tops Now one of ones from his rookie year. And there's 70 base one of ones, 56 insert one of ones, 36 relic one of ones, 133 autograph one of ones, and 23 dual or triple autograph one of ones. It just goes to show how crazy we're getting. Is it to a point that there's just too many? That's up to you to decide this. It's fun to pull one of ones, but at what point do these just not hold as much value? I was surprised by the sold prices of some of these cards being pretty low compared to what you'd expect for one of the top rookies from his class. Yes, he's cooled off since then, but either way, you'd expect more. And they just aren't worth as much as you would hope because there's just such a high quantity. And it made me wonder, are there too many high-end brands diluting one of ones? Because a lot of them came from Topps Dynasty, Luminaries, Definitive, Transcendent. There were at least 27 in Transcendent and probably more that I did not count to be fully transparent. This number of 307 is probably closer to like 350 to 400 if you want to include all the Transcendent stuff because there was like the VIP packs. There's a million different versions of the one of ones of that card, but it's it's a ton. Either way, for example, with Dynasty, here's a Dynasty one of one. Here also is a Dynasty one of one. The only difference is, is they change the image of the player and there's nine versions. And so there's nine one of ones of that particular card. And then they introduced the vertical. I love Dynasty, by the way. So take this criticism as like, it's constructive criticism. But here's this card right here. It is a vertical one of one. And there's more of those now. And then there's the jumbo patches and so forth. And so it's tough because Tops has to make products that people want. And they know that value can be obtained through one of ones. So we're seeing that. But it raises the question. Let me ask you this. Are there too many one of ones? That's for kind of you to decide in regards to value. And I want to point out if there's this many one of ones, there's just as many autographs out of five. There's just as many autograph sets. There's as many like parallels. It's all these things where it's not just one of ones being overproduced. It extends to everything. And so this is a concern I personally have. And I understand Tops is in the situation or fanatics, if you want to call them fanatics, where they need to make enough cards for people to buy because there's a lot of demand, but it, it's a challenge. So is it too high? Is it too low? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, but I wanted to point out how many existed because it's, it's quite a few. Other than that, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.